He suffered a shoulder sprain this last weekend versus the Chicago Bears. It was confirmed later by the coaching staff, I believe, today. It was uh, confirmed by them that he does, in fact, have a shoulder injury. Jalen Hurts comes out on Twitter and says that I will potentially play on Saturday versus the Dallas Cowboys. So, guys, is it an overreaction or underreaction that if Jalen Hurts plays on Saturday, it is going to hurt the Philadelphia Eagles moving forward? So, guys, the Philadelphia Eagles have a playoff berth clinched. They pretty much have the East clinched as clinched as well. They have like a two and a half game lead. Basically, they need to win one more game and they clinch the East. That that's basically what it comes down down to. They need to get to that fourteen win mark and bada bing bada boom, it is clinched. So, as winning the East is awesome, getting the the uh, top seed in the NFC is awesome because you get that rest week, yada yada yada. But also, if you are going to play your star quarterback with a hurt shoulder versus one of the best defenses in the league. They have like the second most sacks in the league, I think, this year. Why do you want to risk your quarterback in this game? Why do you want to risk the opportunity of him getting hurt worse and being a first-round playoff exit? Or first game playoff exit, I should say. Let's say they get the first round. be what Divisional, then I don't know what it's called. Yeah, it's divisional, isn't it? Like, the Philadelphia Eagles need to protect themselves from, or the quarterback, the Philadelphia Eagles need to protect Jalen Hurts from himself. They need to sit him and play Garner Minshew. Like, don't you guys remember Minshew Media, the man, the myth, the legend, the Mr. Mustache himself, the long hair, cowboy wearing booty shorts? Come on. You, you guys know that. Like, Jalen Hurts needs to sit down. It's simple. So are the Philadelphia Eagles in trouble if Jalen Hurts plays on Saturday? Guys, that is not an overreaction at all. You need your quarterback. You need your MVP healthy. 100% going into the playoffs. I don't care about 16-1. I don't care about an NFC East championship. I don't care about the number one overall seed. I want my quarterback 100% 100% going into the playoffs. If I legitimately want to make a play a Super Bowl run like the Philadelphia Eagles can, which they should, they are the best team in the NFL right now, they should make a great run, but you have to have a healthy Jalen Hurts. Now, I've seen comments on Facebook. I've seen it. Well, the year Carson Wentz got hurt, they, they he got, and then Nick Foles came in, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Are you telling me that Garner Minshew is just as good as Nick Foles was that particular year? Nick Foles now, like Nick Foles on any other team besides the Philadelphia Eagles just just sucks. Now, Nick Foles on the Eagles, he's an MVP caliber quarterback. Are you telling me that Garner Minshew is going to lead the Philadelphia Eagles to the Super Bowl? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. If you guys truly think that, you are higher than a kite. You are higher than a kite. So sit Jalen Hurst this this week. I feel that the Philadelphia Eagles can beat the Dallas Cowboys with Garner Minshew as a quarterback this weekend. Playoffs? Probably not. But this weekend, 